Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have is the Anru Aogami Super Sujihiki 270mm knife. So the construction on these is three layers. There's a soft stainless cladding on the top of each side of that uh, Aogami Super. So the core cutting steel is Aogami or Blue Paper Super reactive high carbon steel. Heat treat, they take it to a relatively a moderate um, 62 Rockwell. Uh, this steel, some people take it up to 65 or 64, so they did a little bit more conservative heat treat on that, which will make it a little bit easier to sharpen. But the steel is well known for its edge retention. It's got a fair amount of alloying, so it's not super reactive, but it's just an excellent, excellent knife steel. So they put stainless cladding on either side of this core steel for easier maintenance. And you can see the core steel peeking out at the edge there. There's your cladding. They've also treated this with a hammered texture and Kudauchi or blacksmith uh, finish as well. And you've got some hand chiseled kanji in there. Uh, it's a really nice looking blade. So weight and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 163 grams or 5.7 ounces. Edge length is about 268 millimeters from the tip to the back of the heel, which is about 10 and a half inches. The um, overall length is about 16.8 inches or 427 millimeters. The uh, spine thickness on these Looks like I could wipe that down a little bit more. Spine thickness on these, it thins out fairly quickly once you get out of the handle. So here's your handle, but then above the heel, uh, it's about 2.7 millimeters on this. And I mentioned it about 1.8 in the middle. Uh, it's a little hard with the dimples on there, but uh, you can see it, it's fairly thin. Um, it doesn't have a lot of taper to it until you hit the grind and there it thins out towards the tip a bit. You can look at the grind here from the heel shot, twirl shot. They have nice clean grinds on these on both sides. Uh, the other knife as well I did, the 240 Guto. Uh, let's see, blade height is about 40.4 millimeters, so there's plenty of clearance here if you, if you would use it like that on the board. Uh, the handle is a nicely finished octagonal they say maple on the side. It's either dyed stained maple or it might be walnut or it just could be stained, but it's a nice looking handle, uh, nice tight grain on it. You've got a black pack of wood, which is a stabilized wood product ferrule. Nice fit and finish on the tank install here going into the handle. Uh, real nice job on these. The handle circumference where the two materials meet is about 75 millimeters or three inches. And you can see you've got a pretty generous uh, shape here from the choil, the back of the blade into the neck here. So nice spot for a pinch grip, depending on how you like to use these knives. Uh, let's see, let's get a look, our little beauty shot here. Yeah, I'll bring it a little closer. But you can see with this, you can see you've got a nice frosted uh, Blade road here, you've got the coarse steel peeking out the edge, so it's a real nice look. Uh, you've got the hammer marks on it, the Kudauchi finish, which is fairly smooth. It's just kind of a matte, matte finish. It's not shiny, it's a matte black. Uh, the construction does show through on the spine, so they don't cover the spine with the cladding. Uh, so you can see the coarse steel peeking out there, so make sure you keep this part dry as well. Uh, you've got stainless in there but you've also got some reactive steel peeking out on that spine as well so as far as fit and finish they relieve the edges of the spine a bit they relieve the edges and round out the choil nicely so it's nice fit and finish on these again these have clean grinds straight uh they're nicely nicely crafted i'd say to the out of the box edge on this is maybe six out of ten so there's a good out of the box edge to it the um knife has a fair amount of stiffness towards the back and then the front you get a little bit more a little more, more give because it's not super, super thick. Uh, just a real nice blade. Let's see, balance point is right about there. Some people do like to use these for some occasional board work or frequent board work, depending on your personal preference. So here's what the edge profile looks like. This flows into a pretty decent flat spot towards the back. Um, and then obviously kind of a low tip on it so if you were going to do some board work with this i'd say it's a fairly versatile profile it's got a nice chopping section towards the back but just a really nice nicely crafted knife it's got a little bit of rustic 
character to it, but it's pretty refined at the same time. So just a nicely crafted, nicely packaged product. So this is the Anru Algami Super Sujihiki or Slicer 270 millimeter knife.